As we close tonight, I have some sad news. Stephen R. Covey died the other day from injuries he received in a biking accident. We all know him, really, probably from his most famous book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It sold over 25 million copies. Nobody sells books like that anymore, other than maybe the Harry Potter series. He was also recognized as the, one of the most influential business books of the 20th century. This is a man who changed people's lives for the better. He was a motivational speaker and an author, and he enabled people around the world to get their priorities straight so they could live a happier, healthier, more effective life. With all of the government intrusion into our lives and all the collectivist nonsense that we endure now, his message is more relevant today than ever before. I didn't know Stephen very well. I didn't spend very much time with him. But I feel as though he was a friend. I remember meeting him for the first time, and I don't even really remember where I was at the time, but all of a sudden this totally bald guy comes walking up to me. He's like, Glenn Beck, I'm one of your biggest fans. You've done so much for the country. And I want you to know I appreciate it. And I'm like, gosh, you look like Stephen Covey. You know, you're not expecting Stephen Covey to walk up to you and say, hey, thank you. And I said, man, you look like Stephen Covey. And he said, uh, I am Stephen Covey. <laughs> like the, the Seven Habits guy. I mean, the... Franklin Covey planner guy. I was like, yeah, the principled centered leadership guy. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Embarrassing, you bet. But he indulged me. He was gracious, he was kind. He was exactly what you would expect Stephen Covey to be, unpretentious. I came to know him a little bit over the years. I would run into him from time to time and we would say hello and chat. I realized He's just one of those men that the rest of us strive to be. Somehow today, the world feels just a little less highly effective without Stephen R. Covey. You'll be greatly missed, my friend. Rest well, good and faithful servant. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his good wife, his children, and grandchildren.